This is a quest guide for the Something Comes a Knocking quest in Disney Dreamlight Valley. You start this off by actually picking up a Russian doll, or otherwise known as a Matryoshka doll, and um, that automatically starts the quest with Merlin. So it says, you found a strange uh, Matryoshka doll. Where could it belong? Let's go and talk to Merlin about the doll we have found. So, let's go and talk to him. I'm actually really intrigued about this quest. This would be quite interesting. Um, here he is. And I'm going to click something comes a knocking. So basically, Merlin says, well, there must be other dolls. Why would there be? But there are. Um, and that we should search the valley. So let's get searching. So these can actually appear in different locations. There is a total of four of them. One of them will always appear in the plaza. Where can you find it? Sometimes it will be outside your house here. Sometimes it can be um, near the stairs here, going into the peaceful meadow. You can find it directly east of the fountain, so kind of over here somewhere, I think. Uh, yeah. And in, also behind or in front of Scrooge's store. Aha! So here we go. Now, I'm assuming the reason this one is over here is because we have Remy's house in the way. So it's kind of like going behind it, but even further. So there we go. So there's always one in the plaza, but it can be in one of those uh, different locations. So there we go. There's the second one. The next one can be found either in... Um, the Peaceful Meadow, Dazzle Beach, the Forest of Valor, the Glade of Trust, the Frosted Heights, and the Sunlit Plateau. They can be near landmarks. Um, for example, if you've already done Wally's Garden, which is always over here, you may find one uh, sort of around this location, for example. It could be near Moana's boat. So not Moana's house, which you place manually, but actually her boat. And that is going to be over here um, in the valley. So you might find one around here. No, nothing there for me. There's the bridges in the Sunlit Plateau. And I'm pretty sure I did actually see one up there myself. So you could also find one uh, near these bridges. So let's have a look. Can we see anything around here? I swear I saw one up here somewhere. It might be the one that I originally picked up to start this quest, even. Um, and you can also find it near the other bridge uh, over here as well. There can be one. There's also the tree where Mother Gothel lives. So down in the Glade of Trust. Now, this is totally random. Oh, here we go. Yep. So near the tree in the Glade of Trust, I've just found one uh, here. So near the Glade of Trust tree. Um, again, that's a big landmark. There's another one, which is the cave where Olaf... Is the cave up here? Where we've done the quest of Olaf? Well, you may not have done the quest. I say we. I don't know if you've done that quest or not. This one here, so the top of the Frosted Heights. I'm pretty sure there could be one in here. Which is a bit random, but... Maybe it could be outside the cave. So, like, just near it. I feel like it's a bit actually weird that it would be inside here. Oh, I've left the gem on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up. Yeah, so maybe it's near near this cave, but I don't see anything. Another place you can often find them is near the, um, like, bridges that connect zones. Uh, not, not this kind of bridge, although maybe. So I found uh, three out of four, I think. I've got one two and three i think there's four in total <clears throat> so yeah often you might find them um <clears throat> near the stairs like this that connect different different zones together they can often be found sort of around those locations it's not so much of a landmark but um honestly you kind of just have to search everywhere because it's so many different locations that they can appear at which Makes it a bit difficult for me to really tell you exactly where to find them outside of the um, kind of areas that I've already said. Aha! And here is where I have found my fourth doll, 
which is near Scar's um, base in the Sunlit Plateau, because that, again, is like a landmark in itself. They cannot be found in the Forgotten Lands, um, but obviously I didn't find them there. It is unique to every single player, uh, which is, you know, really, really annoying. So once we found all four, I believe we go and talk to Merlin again. And he says, he, I sense something happening in the Forgotten Lands. So what we're then going to do is go up to the Forgotten Lands... I think that's where the tree is. Oh, I know the tree. Is it this one here? Yeah, see this tree with a pumpkin on? You can interact with it and you can place the dolls. So one, two, and you interact each time. And then interact a fourth time. And there you go! Woohoo! Um, we actually get Jack Skellington. That is actually how you unlock Jack Skellington in Disney Dreamlight Valley. And then we're going to um, talk to him. And then we're going to place his house in the valley. So we've got an inventory, furniture, requests, Jack Skellington's house. I feel like this is definitely best placed in the Forgotten Lands. There's nowhere else I could possibly place this house. It'd be nice if he went next to... Mm, we'll place him here, I think. Let's go use the construction sign to actually, you know, bring it in. There we go. Lovely. And now we can talk to Jack Skellington again. What you can actually do is just uh, disable him and then enable him and he'll appear right outside his house. So you don't have to even walk anywhere. And there we go. Something comes. A knocking quest is complete. If you're then looking for the friendship quests of Jack Skellington or any other quests in Disney Dreamlight Valley, check out the playlist you now see on screen.